Welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft rig tutorial. Today we're going to be using bones and actually being able to animate this guy instead of him just being able to walk. Actually, you could use him just like this. He's pretty much ready to go, um, but his legs and arms do not bend and neither does his chest and it kind of rotates weird. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using bones to be able to animate this guy. So we're going to add in an armature, shift A right there, or you can go to create and hit uh, other armature. And it's added in a bone. I'm going to hit uh, 5 on my numpad and 1 to go into orthographic and the front facing view. We can't see the bone right now because it's inside of his head. So we're going to go to this bone uh, this bone tab over here, actually this bone tab, the armature tab, and hit x-ray and turn that on so we can see the bones through our mesh. So now we're going we're gonna to move this guy down right about there. Um, and this is going to be the starting point of our of our mesh. We're going to hit uh, of our bones. So we're going to hit tab to tap into edit mode. Drag that guy up about half of his body. We're going to get rid of the legs right now so you can see a bit better what I'm doing. Um, and we'll drag this point down and we'll drag this point about to the center. Hit E to extrude another bone out and hit Z to go straight on up and right to uh, where his head connects to his body right about there. It looks pretty good. Um, so now we're going to hit E and Z again to add in another bone. And this is going to be his head bone all the way up to the top right there. We're going to actually move this down a little bit. So about right there. Eh, about right there. And then we're going to extrude a bone with hitting the X uh, key to move on the X axis. And we're going to move that to about right there. Um, and then we're going to scroll this down. Hit E, Z and go about half of his arm and then E, Z and then go the rest of the way. If you want to do hands, you can go here and then hit another one. I might do hands, so I'm going to do hands, so I'm going to put that right there. So we have three bones in his arm and then we'll do the same thing over here. So we'll uh, select our armature and then select this point right here. Uh, hit E and X to scale that on the X axis about right there. And of course, we're going to go straight on down just like we did before and then E. Z and then E Z. If you want to do this perfectly, you look over here at the length of the of the head and the tail, and you can look at that and where that's placed, and you can compare them with these over here. Um, of course, just ignore, just you know, flip the negative sign and make that say not negative. Uh, hopefully that made sense. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Uh, now we have the top portion of our rig. Uh, uh, so now we're going to do the bottom half. We're gonna do the legs. So we're gonna move that up a little bit. And then we'll duplicate this bone right here. We'll duplicate that bone, move it on down, hit RX 180, because we want this, these to go down. So we're going to move that up to about right there where his legs start. His legs start there. Um, and we'll select 5-1 on my numpad, make sure I'm on, ortho on orthographic so I can do it, see better. And move that to about halfway of his leg. I'm going to hide the body so you can see a bit better. Uh, move that a little bit over. And then uh, E. Z, scroll that on down. I'm not going to do feet, so we're going to go all the way down. And then we're going to select these two bones and we're going to duplicate. And we're going to, eh, we're going to move them over by hand, uh, something like that. So now if we move these, these, this, this armature, it doesn't move with our rig. That's because we didn't parent it to the actual rig. So we're, we're going to do that. And how we do that is we're going to select the armature and go into pose mode. So now if we do that, we can see that we can actually pose the bones, but it still doesn't move along with the um, with the armature. So the way we can fix that is we select the any bone and then the and then a piece of the body and then a piece of a, let's say, select a piece of the body and then select holding down shift a bone and hit P with automatic weights. So now if we move stuff around you can tell that it moves with it, but it doesn't move so hot. And the reason is it only works for the chest because it's whatever whatever piece of body you selected. So as you know, it doesn't move around so hot, and that's because it's just one giant uh, it's just one giant mesh. There's no loop cuts. It doesn't have any subdivision surfaces, so there's no way it can actually deform itself other than with those four vertices around the, the top and bottom of the mesh. And first things first, we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fix up these these vertices because you can tell there's more than one edge. It's not just one straight long edge. That's a problem. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go back into object mode. And we're gonna hide all these other pieces of everything we don't need just to make this a lot easier to to deal with. And ahead too. All right. So now what we have here is a leg that has multiple different sections. But if you, as you can tell. 
there's no line going across and that, that that's a presents a problem for blender because it doesn't know how to deal with vertices that don't actually have a face connected to it and then do the same thing with the limited dissolve so x limited dissolve x limited dissolve we can actually i think we might be able to do yeah we can do that we can just select the entire thing and hit limited dissolve that's nice all right so let's just do that that makes it much much quicker dissolve the reason we did this in the first place was so that we can get the point up at the top so we can add the the anchor there perfectly in the center but now we have our leg and it's all fixed up so now we can redo the loop cuts that we did in the first part of this um so here we go we can add in that one right there uh, right click to cancel the movement and of course the same thing that we did in the first video if you happen to catch that one as well so I'm not going to dwell on this too long uh, loop cut loop cut loop cut right there so boom so now we have that perfectly well now if we unhide everything and we try and move this bad boy the weight painting is still messed up so you see a bit of weird deformation but it looks way better it now actually deforms unlike this one that just kind of does this really weird bending thing like that of the knee um, so that that's way way better so if I select if I double tap a and select everything and then select the bones uh, one of the bones in pose mode and then go alt P uh, control P sorry and then uh, set parent to with automatic weights now the bones will actually move around but the problem with this is, is that they move kind of funky um, but since we can go ahead and fix this in Blender's weight painting system, we should have a pretty easy time fixing this up since uh, it's not too bad. So the way we can fix this is go to one and two uh, on our numpad, select one of these bones and make sure we're in weight and paint on the actual armature. Uh, we'll do that on all of these different pieces of the body here. Weight paint, weight paint, weight paint, and on the head, weight paint. All right. So if we select this arm up here, you can tell it has a really weird way of trying to deform itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that up. Ooh, uh, we're going to go and hit uh, mix. And we'll fix that up just something like that. That's a pretty easy start. Um, but as you can tell, it actually moves the chest along with it. So we need to fix that as well. So we can go and select the chest. And then uh, with this bone still selected, we can go and hit subtract. All right, so this little piece on this bone right here has a bit of a piece there. And that's probably why this was moving. Yep, we fixed that right on up. So now uh, the body does not move when we move the arm. It has a bit of weird bending right there, so we can go ahead and fix that. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Select that and make sure everything is tip-top shape all the way around. Mix, fix that up. And this piece right here is probably the culprit, so let's fix that. Go on the top facing view. Oh, and that selected the entire thing. <laughs> One and then select that. Just something like that, just the shoulder piece to move along with it so that looks pretty good we can move the arm like that as well but this little piece down here this needs to be a bit better so we'll move that around something like that it needs to be blurred a bit so it doesn't move the just that the shoulder and just the shoulder because that looks a bit strange so we'll go ahead and we'll blur that with the blur tool over on the side and we move the this little bone right here which uh, looks pretty good all right so that's right there and now if we select that and select the head bone the head mesh sorry you, know, you should be able to tell that there's a little bit of weirdness going on there with that with the torso i kind of just uh added that but as you can tell down at the bottom does this really weird stretching thing maybe we can fix that a little bit it's going and we can hit, hit uh, blur once again oh no nope, blur blur down there as always blur is the savior all right so now we move the torso and the legs do not move when we move the upper torso nothing weird moves uh, actually there's a bit of stretching down there so I want to get rid of I want to get rid of that there's a bit too much so we'll subtract this bottom edge down here see if there's anything weird all right so I've finished fixing all of the weight painting and now we can actually move our rig perfectly without having any problems uh, with the bending or anything like that there may be a few uh, small problems but we can always fix those later on down the road so now we have our everything perfect we can bend his legs the wrong way but uh but that's fine just don't do that <laughs> so the the only thing we have left to do now is the face rig and that's going to be in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed this uh video i will see you guys in the next one but until then bye